647 was ninth. And entry 641 was 10th. There were 12 animals in that class. The class now in the ring are the fall yearling heifers. And sponsoring the first place award in this class is Mapleton Valley Farm, so Conemowoc, Wisconsin. And the junior award is presented by Manisha Creek Farm, Sun Prairie, Wisconsin.
our judges have completed their placing in the win excuse me, fall yearling heifer class. Would our first and second place juniors please take a step forward? Congratulations to our second place junior, entry 655, Manisha Creek Coors on Tap, leased by Justin Brandle and owned by Mina Schmidt, Lake Mills, Wisconsin. Placing third in the class is entry 659, Lazy M Patron Exquisitely, shown by Lazy M Farm, Michael and Herman Meyer, Stitzer, Wisconsin. Second in the class and the first junior, congratulations to entry 654, Halpin's Rockstar Mysterious, shown by Owen and Colt Halpin and IRC Mackinson of Halpin Farms, Buckingham, Illinois. And winning the class, she's also best bred and owned, entry 661, Elite HP Showtime Fireflame EXP, owned by Peter Vale, Englewood, Florida. Congratulations, and now to our judge for his comments. Another outstanding class here at Fall Yearlings. I think we're starting with a pretty logical winner. Ever that's just that beautiful uphill run. She's sharp, she's clean, she's angular. She is so much more feminine about that head and neck region. A little bit flatter in the thigh than this powerful heifer coming out in second. Second place heifer most closely follows her pattern from the standpoint that she is that high chine, beautiful shoulder. As I said, just lacks that dariness to get her up in the top spot today. But just so much more heifer than this young lady's heifer coming out in third. In addition, I think she's a a little bit nicer about that loin and rump region, a little bit stronger in the loin, holds that rump just a little bit more level. Third place over fourth place, just more substance, more strength. I also say she's got a little bit nicer rear legs. Fourth place heifer, we had her a little bit too low to start. We might have her a little bit too high right now, but she's just so feminine and clean and angular. Beautiful, dairy, stylish heifer. Lacks that mass, that power, that substance. In addition, those rear legs, as we talked about earlier, just not quite as uh, fluid as the heifers up above her. But she does have that definite advantage in dairiness to go over a pair of heifers that needs to be together. Big, strong, rugged heifers, a lot of mass and power and substance to them. Just not that dairiness and femininity to get them up any higher in the class today. Congratulations on a really nice class of heifers.